Do you flex your cheeks when you walk by the camera? <laughs> Hello, people of the World Wide Web. Welcome to this. The next video, working on my 1974 RA21 Toyota Celica that I will soon be stuffing a Toyota 2UZ V8 into. Why? When Sarah gets left unattended. I gave you my camera so I wouldn't drop it, not so you could make fun of me. <laughs> Where I last left off, I had purchased this Eisen W58 five-speed manual transmission out of an A70 Supra to pair up to a 2UZ. This is a junk one for parts. Since the W58 bell housing does not fit a 2UZ, and the A750F bell housing out of my dad's 05 Tundra also won't work with the W58, so I bought this. It is a 1UZ bell housing. Hey, it looks like uh, the sign. I saw the sign, but I did not see the sign. This was really confusing me for a second, then it dawned on me. I have to take this off. I feel like it'd be kind of a waste to put this in the... Uh. I, I have to. I have to do this. I let my OCD get the best of me, but I always do that. You have the tail? Oh, this is going to be tricky. And it's me. Oh. I got this thing set at 60 PSI, fresh media and water, and uh, let's go. Oh, the light looks weird on the camera. Many hours later, yeah. That's a lot cleaner. Angel, how'd you pick this up on your own? <laughs> this thing's heavy. Okay. Where are we going? On the bench. Before this project's done, I might end up tearing this thing down and seeing if it needs new synchros or anything, just because I don't know the status of it. Can I get you off without a spatula? Said no chef ever. There you go. Factory one, aftermarket adapter. They got the same pattern on them. Now before anyone gets crazy in the comments, I am not putting any sealant on this. This is just being loosely put together for test fit purposes. Just make sure this all fits together. Don't need these guide pins anymore. Ha. The irony of the fact that I actually have a slide hammer and I'm doing this. Okay, so in my kit, I should have some hardware. That's for a flywheel. Yeah, bag of parts, oh, I got gaskets. What else is in here? Clutch, flywheels underneath all that, yeah. It also came with a seal that goes inside here, but again, for test fit purposes, <laughs> just to clarify. I'm not going to install this. It would go right here and I would do that next, but test purposes, don't need it. Bell housing. Yeah. Ta-da! Behold, a 2UZ W58 transmission. In case you're wondering about the clutch slave cylinder, I have to make a hole right here on the side of the transmission for the lines to be able to access. Da-da-da! Yeah! Look at that! Factory. So far, everything I've done to this car has been bolt-in. I haven't cut or done anything permanent to the chassis of it. I'll grab the end. Okay. You got the bell housing? Yes, ma'am. That's heavy. This is not gonna be easy. We're gonna have to lay under the car no matter what. Going down. Is that oh it's tape we need as much clearance as possible so it's apron yeah maximum clearance this is gonna be tricky but i think i think we got it i don't want these all scratched up 
So I'm gonna take them off. We might have to lower the car. The car. I mean, we have room to lower the car. Something I kind of already knew, but I don't know why we just left it on there and stuck it in anyway. The bed plate, which is basically this upper aluminum portion of the oil pan, and the oil pan itself will not clear the cross member. I have to use an aftermarket one or possibly the 1UZ one. Because the 2UZ is a truck engine, it has a lot longer, deeper of a bed plate, so there's not really a clearance issue with a truck which means that's not gonna work in this car. Dance, Angel, dance. <laughs> we are playing this. I'm down. You're down, so I'm up. We're like an, we're like an old fashioned cartoon. <laughs> we're steampunk. Oh wow, we're way higher than we need to steampunk. because we're dancing. I don't know. Steampunk? Steampunk? No. In case you were wondering why this junkyard engine was so cheap, look at the hole in it. The engine failure. All right, ready for a shower of metal and oil? Oh, we got way more room. Judging by how dark it was and I pulled off the valve covers in here, you can see whoever owned this thing was really late on their oil changes and just neglected this truck a lot, which may or may not had something to do with uh, the fact that it snapped a connecting rod, even though these are kind of thin on the 2UZ. That's why I'm glad that I'm using my dad's engine for the build for this car because he was top notch on the regular scheduled maintenance on it. So it looked perfect inside still. But yeah, this will definitely work with an aftermarket oil pan. Just gained like probably five or six inches of room and there'll be plenty of room for a nice deep front sump. It sounds like a basketball game. I don't sport. Okay, go down. Okay, go. go down on Cumber Batch Pigeon Factory. Cucumber Patch. Cucumber Patch Pigeon Factory. Why am I saying that? I think my brain's broken. To the right? To the window. To the wall. These stinky, sweaty balls. What is this? <laughs> How's it go? Ba -da 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 that was from Need for Speed Underground. Uh, you need to go towards you. There, Cumber Batch Pigeon Factory. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That right there is the transmission bolted up into the transmission cross member and bolted to the engine. And there's a massive amount of room right there behind it. The shifter housing right here can be flipped around so the hole is on the other side and I can adjust it on the inside. Uh, that's gonna have to happen for this to be able to fit through the floor right there. You got the transmission? Oh. And then we're gonna have to pull it forward a little bit. Get a rotate towards. Oh fuck, it was there. Let me. Hold on. It can, can't go any further down because it's hitting the rack and pinion mount. So much for cleaning the transmission. That was kind of stupid. I just can't help myself sometimes though. One of the main reasons I decided to go with the W58 transmission was the fact that it was dimensionally the same as the factory transmission, which means it bolts right into the factory transmission cross member. That right there is the transmission bolted up into the transmission cross member and bolted to the engine. And there's a massive amount of room right there behind it. Hello tomorrow. This situation must be solved. That means three people are involved in this process now. That just looked like I was gonna give someone a rectal exam. No. So yeah, there's no way this will work anymore because it, it bolts up to the tail of transmission. So it's gonna need a different mount because this is all the way on its rearmost holes. Question is, will it clear right here or if that's gonna need massage -y? Angel stood alone in a boggy marsh. 
How many different ways can you change the lyrics to Lump by the President of the United States of America? An infinite number of ways. Uh, Angel it, has a thing where he likes putting his butt in front of my camera. It's loose. Okay. Ready? You guys got your side? Yeah. Okay, you want to get out from underneath it, Sarah? Yeah, it's not really that heavy. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, so this guy has to come off the shaft. That will gain us so much clarity. And that'll put the shifter probably right where it needs to be, too. Yeah. Flip it around. Okay. On the shaft. Like, flip around on the shaft? When you take all these bolts out, this whole thing just slides off the back. Bolts on the back. Question is, that was the vinyl, it was not a fart. Yep, there it is. You can see the shaft and the nut that holds the shaft right down there, so the shifter will come right out through that hole where it should be. Searching around the interwebs, there's a, a shop company called Drift Motion that makes an adapter for the R and W transmissions to flip that housing around so that your shifter will be up closer to the front. R154 and W58 from a Mark III A70, that's what I have. So just change out one of these guys right there on the shaft inside the tail housing of the transmission. So yeah, I gotta order one of those like today now that I know that. Yeah, that's way closer than it was yesterday. Way, way, way closer. It's probably, honestly might be a little too close. We'll see though. Claire's up here, there's plenty of room for a radiator. Radiator can go in the factory location still. We Steering won't them. be that bad. I don't think the exhaust manifold's gonna be that bad either, honestly. Yeah. Where do you think right. it's gonna be difficult manifold wise? I was just looking at it, but I think it's actually fine because the manifold goes down below where this frame rail is. Yeah, that's what I was so thinking. So I think there's plenty of room actually. Yeah, so at slim, deleting the uh, bed plate and doing a slimmer oil pan, because we can gain a bunch of capacity in the front. There's plenty of room up there. Yeah. This is way quicker with the three of us here being able to do this. And now it fits and I think it's ready to mock up engine mounts. Are you satisfied? Yeah. Are you a food cake? Yes. Test, test, test. Look at my tripods, I have a lot of them. Well, that's how I film when I'm doing things by myself. I just have an army of tripod people. They're not real people. I talk to them sometimes, but that's because you're on them. All right, Angel. Show YouTube your butt again. Uh, you guys gotta pay more for that. Okay. All right, I'm ready for it to drop. Are you ready, ready? for it to drop? It's teetering. It's just hitting First that little... It's literally just, oh, that can come out. That's a super easy fix, because that bracket can be moved. If I had the Koki model style hood for this thing, with the bulge in the center, it would give me a lot more room, but I don't think I need it. Angel, do you flex your cheeks when you walk by the camera? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. About to dangerous thing, dangerous thing. Dangerous thing, dangerous thing. I mean, the whole way down on my side over here, what about your side over there? No. No. I don't know if I can get you a fender. Someday, over the table. And uh, you lift the That looks. That's flush. Actually, yeah, the hood can go up a little bit in the front, maybe. No, that's that's good. I would go ahead and call that a success. That is a transmission bolted to an engine sitting inside of this car with the hood on it. Granted, there are no engine mounts, but now they just get made based on that data. I like saying data like that, data. I saw you trying not to laugh back there. I didn't know if it did. You sound like a... A baby saying dada. <laughs> hey look, there's the other transmission I bought. I have so many Toyota parts now, it's not even funny. Including all these. 
Well, with that said, I guess you're gonna have to wait till the next video to see what's inside all those boxes. Thank you for watching. Bye.